gas plants, compressor stations, man camps, flare stacks, frack pads, wastewater ponds, this entire landscape is a casualty of the frack gas boom in Northeast British Columbia. I'm Peter McCartney from the Wilderness Committee, and I'm here outside Progress Energy's Caribou Gas Plant, uh, about two hours north of Fort St. John. You can't even call this a boreal forest anymore. It's been so heavily um, fragmented from the fracking industry here. As you can see behind me, the flare stack pumps carbon pollution into the atmosphere 24 7. And just across this berm is a toxic wastewater pond where they put the frac fluid that they pump deep underneath the earth to get the gas out of the ground. I'm here to meet with local communities and see what's at risk if two liquefied natural gas plants are built on the west coast of British Columbia, requiring 9,000 new frac wells between them. There are still wilderness areas far in the northeast corner of the province that haven't been touched by the fracking boom. But if the liquefied natural gas industry moves forward, we can say goodbye to what's left of the boreal forest in British Columbia. That's why we are working to stop fracking and why we're here on the ground to bring information to you to help make it happen.